Jeff here from Worms for Earth. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build a worm bin. Now, if you look on the internet, there are several ways to build a worm bin. There's just not one way. But I'm going to show you the way that I, I prefer to build it. I uh, use three main ingredients, peat moss, manure, and garden lime. Uh, the first ingredient is peat. Uh, peat has great water retention. That's why I like to use it. You don't have to worry about uh, spraying water into your bin to keep your worms moist. Uh, the second ingredient I like to use is uh, commonore, composted commonore. And the reason I like to use the, the manure is it's not only uh, good bedding, but it also feeds the worms. Uh, peat moss has no nutritive value, and so if you just use peat moss and nothing else, your, your worms will, will basically starve to death. And the last ingredient I like to use is garden lime, which is basically pulverized limestone or calcium carbonate. Uh, the reason I like to use that is peat moss tends to be a little bit acidic, and this will raise the pH value as well as uh, worms need calcium to reproduce. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to soak the peat, because it's really just about bone dry. Lots and lots in a bucket of water. You don't have to use a, a five gallon bucket. You can use uh, anything that you have that you can fit a lot of uh, this dry peat in. I'm going to push it down. Hope you don't mind getting your hands a little dirty. Of course, since you're raising worms, you're going to be getting your hands dirty anyway. It's something to get used to, I guess. The peat, it's amazing how much moisture this stuff can actually absorb um, and it won't sink to the bottom it actually stays and it floats on top um, it's really sp a spongy like material so I like to kind of swirl it around and around and get it nice and nice and soaked throw some more on top here keep swirling it as I said before, the, the peat is a little bit acidic, which won't it won't hurt your worms. Um, now I've read in research where, where if, if the peat is too acidic, it might make your earthworms a bit lethargic. Um, so just for safe measure, I've, I like to add the calcium carbonate or garden lime. So this is nice and good and soaked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just grab a bunch with my hands and you just squeeze it and then to throw it in your bin. You notice that this bin is dirty it's because I've already used it and emptied out all the worms into another bin and what I'm doing is I'm, well, I'm rebuilding a new bin. You don't have to squeeze it so hard that every little bit of water comes out. Just enough to where it just, uh, just drips out. Now that I have a couple of inches of, of uh, dampened peat in here, I always like to add a little bit of garden lime to sprinkle it in there on top of this layer. a nice dusting will do okay now when you buy your lime make sure that the package does, does not say car, um, calcium hydroxide that is slaked or hydrated lime and uh, that will burn your worms they do not like uh, slaked or hydrated lime after I put the lime in there I then dump my cow manure on top, a couple inches is good, Let's spread this out so it's a nice layer and then I come back with my garden hose and the mist selection and I just mist it down a bit because the uh, the compost is a little dry, it's been sitting in the bag for a little bit. 
Now you don't have to use bagged composted uh, cow manure. You can, you know, if you have a, a farm and you have horses and cows, you can use, the, you know, the manure that drops right out onto the, onto the ground. Just make sure that it's sitting around for a couple of weeks and it, that it's not hot anymore. It needs to compost a little bit so it doesn't burn up your worms. The manure can get pretty hot. And then I just go back and I add another layer of peat. Now you can always, and I'm just doing this for, for, uh, for informational purposes, but you can prepare your peat ahead of time and soak it all and like stick it in a wheelbarrow and then come back and, and uh, put your already prepared peat into the layer in the bin and put your, your calcium in and then add a layer of manure and then go back to your wheelbarrow and, and take the peat out. But I'm going to do this all the way till I get to the top. Um, basically that's, that's how I build a worm.